Wow, this field's a mess. It needs ploughing, it needs lime, it's full of weeds. And that's before we start sowing our soybeans. Hello and welcome along. We are once again here on Estancia Lapacho today, a going big. Uh, and we got our Fent 1038 hooked up here to our uh, Breedle uh, lime spreader. This is full of lime. Uh, as you can see, we got the uh, we got the tires. I really like these tires on this. Uh, the other thing, uh, so this is a mod. This is by Custom Modding, uh, as I've said before, uh, and these tires are part of that. Uh, this is available on Facebook from their page. Um, the other thing I've got is there's a new mod on the mod hub, uh, which alters the dirt for when you're on Estancia Lapacho, and I really like this. This looks absolutely fantastic with the right colour dirt on it. Uh, fits in with the map really, really well. So, uh, yeah, I am I really, really like that. So, yeah, I really like that. That is looking really, really awesome. Um, we're going to jump in and we're going to get the lime spread on here. Uh, once we've done that, we need to get this ploughed as well. We may have to change the tyres for that, which means I've probably got to go down to the shop. Uh, unless I can build a workshop. I don't know how much they are. Uh, let's have a quick look at that before we go any further. Uh, vehicle workshop actually is 28,000, so we could afford that. Unfortunately, we're, again, we're low on money, so we're going to have to try and do some missions coming up. Uh, but let's jump in and get this started. Uh, two minutes in and, uh, and yeah, not really got much done. So, uh, line this up, fold it out. I think this has a pretty good reach. We'll see how far it goes. And start her up. Where we go. Right, so I need to be a little bit further over. It's one of those things where I'm never quite sure. But that should do it. So line ourselves up at 180 degrees. And away we go. Uh, and that's covering to the edge. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a really nice, really cool looking tractor. I, I'm loving this at the moment. Uh, with these extra tyres on. Then they work well. I mean, uh, obviously, I don't think we can plough with them on, as I was saying a minute ago. But they uh, they do look really cool on this tractor. Uh, really wicked. Uh, and it's sort of this, this, the sunlight, the sunrise, it all looks really nice. And, and oh, I just, I'm just in a, a happy place with it. Um, but as I was saying in the introduction, we have everything to do on this field today. So we're not going to be going really anywhere other than field six. Uh, I will be cutting about a bit, obviously, uh, because we won't get all of this done at once. Uh, we're also probably going to have to refill our uh, lime as well. I don't think our... Uh, well, look at this. Yeah, look at this. We're going to probably have to refill the lime as we go. So, uh, yeah, we just need to get the lime on here. We need to get the plough on here as well. So the plough, of course, is going to take us a little while as well. Uh, and then finally, once all that's done, we'll be able to get our cedar on here, get the soybeans in. And by the end of today, uh, we should be in a position where this field is limed and ploughed and reseeded. And uh, and yeah, then we'll uh, then we'll be able to, to go and do other bits and pieces while our field is uh, is growing and nicely recouping, ready for our next harvest. So uh, I'm going to continue on with this, and uh, and I'll catch up with you when we get uh, when we get a bit low on the old line. Now, something I'm a little bit amazed about is we are we're just over halfway through the field. We have over half. Oh, it's just under. So we're just over halfway through the field. We have just under half uh, a tank of lime left. It looks like uh, this field we might be able to uh, get the whole way through it uh, on the single tank of lime. Having said that. Uh, I know how this is going to go. I know what's going to happen here. We are absolutely going to get to like halfway through the final uh, stretch and find that we don't have enough lime to finish the field off. Um, but it is good to see that we're, we're, we're doing well. We're not 
So we've got a third of, uh, of the tank of lime left. As long as we keep ourselves right on the edge each time, I think we're going to have enough. I think this is going to be a really good use of the lime. If it's, it's a case of not having too much of an overlap uh, while we're doing it. And uh, and there is we are leaving a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a gap on some of our runs, uh, but it's not such a huge one that I think it's going to affect the uh, uh, the yield to a point where it's going to be noticeable to us. Um, and to be able to have you know maybe a quarter of the field to go uh, with a quarter of our lime left is uh, is fantastic. I'm skeptical it's going to last the whole way. So we may have to buy just that little bit at the end and try and guess that. But uh, I think in general, this is uh, this is going well and working well. So uh, yeah, let's keep going and let's see if uh, if we can make it to the end of the field without having to refill our line. Oh, so as I suspected, oh really unfortunately, we're down to 3%, we're down, yeah, down to our last 500 litres. We have a single line to go. Um, we need about 10% of a tank, uh, I think, in order to, uh, to do this final row. Yeah, look at that, we ran out just at the end of the row. So, we're going to head back down to our line tank. Uh, we're going to go and, uh, and fill up. We're going to try and get just just over 10%, maybe 11% into our tank. Uh, and just then run and do that final row. See if we can, uh, see if we can do that. Uh, I think it will be... Um, hopefully, we'll be good. Hopefully, we'll be able to, uh, to do pretty well with it. And, uh, and make sure that we can... Uh, not overspend on this final bit so we'll open that up right and we need to be careful here so start that so we only want to get about 11 percent there we go so that's 11 percent now this is a risk this could end up with us uh having to refill this again uh, i'm hoping not i'm hoping that that is a good what is that getting stuck on? Oh. We've driven all the way back here with our uh, with our spreaders down. So that's what was getting caught then. Couldn't, you can't, I can't believe you can't see those spreaders. So the spreaders we've got in the back, you cannot see them folded down on the end there. That's quite something. So we'll fold those out. And as you can see, yeah. Oh, it's not even a full width. Uh, that we have here so uh, yeah you can see our sugar cane is coming up quite nicely now uh, we're going to have to uh, spray that with fertilizer at some point uh, but this is uh, this is coming along nicely I'm quite happy with this hopefully this is enough to get the whole way down this road. It was about 10% that I noticed when we were um, when we were uh, running in that last stretch. And if we have a little bit left, we can always use it on these uh, on a couple of patches that were on the field, like that we saw there. But to be honest, we are down to 1%, and uh, and yeah, we got like 43. Uh, 43 litres left so that is uh, yeah that really is negligible uh, negligible uh, it's not going to make much difference uh, I'm just going to use it up on that bit there there we go right I don't want to be running all over where we've lined so we'll head to the edge here and head down the side wouldn't be uh, too bad because obviously we've got the um, uh We've got the care wheels on, so it's not going to make too much of an issue. But, uh, yeah, I don't really want... I want to keep off the field as much as possible. Right, so having done that, uh, let's go park this up and get our plough out. And, uh, yeah, 
Now comes the longer, the much longer job that we need to get done. But it will be worth it because we will get our yield much, much higher as a result. Alright, just park this up here. Oh, I really, really want to get this area purchased and um, uh, and and build the uh, and build our farm, but it's it's like five hundred thousand for this area. It's just a little bit out of our price range at the moment, uh, which is hugely annoying. Uh, this, of course, actually the fact that we have to plow this is one of those. One of those things I'd completely forgotten uh, about sunflowers. So while sunflowers do bring us in a whole load of money, uh, they don't. Now, which is the... There it is. So that, we want the one that widens it. And we want to make sure that we've not got create fields on. Uh, wheels are now the way. Remember the way I remember how a plow should be positioned, and the way I, where I went wrong previously, is that the wheels should always be into the field. Right, we'll check that we uh, we don't have allow create fields on, and we'll just drop this down, and make doubly short. Sure. Nope, we're good, and we're away. Wow. No, it really is the widest it goes at that point. So let's pop out and make sure that we're at the edge. Like that. Oh, I was going to change the tyres. I'm not sure. But we should be alright with these tyres uh, doing this. Although I don't know, because that's, that's really not very wide. I think we were going to have to change the tyres. So I'm going to pop down to going to get this row finished and I'm going to get us some better tyres on for this job uh, because this is a, this is a really appropriate um, appropriate for what we're doing those do look yeah, those do look a bit funky um, so we'll leave our uh, we'll leave our plough at the end when we get to the end here but it's interesting that it, is, it does have that extra bit of width beyond the tyres. But I don't think it's enough for us to, uh, to be able to use this with it. A couple of bits there. There we go. And lift. And we will just drop this off here. And I will be back shortly, having popped down to the shop and sorted our tyres out. So there we go, da back down to the shop and we'll just get this parked over here in the workshop. Now I know originally at the beginning of this video I said I was going to put the, uh, I was going to build a, do the workshop and do it that way. Uh, to be honest, uh, we'd need to be changing these tyres 28 times uh, in order to make that uh, worthwhile. We might do it two or three times, uh, we're not going to be doing it wildly um, like that uh, we it will become it will become a point eventually for us to do but at the moment it's it's not something I need to do a lot of so we're gonna have a look and I'm, one of the reasons why I've come down here I knew I said I was gonna sort of come back once I'd done but I wanted to show you the options that that come on this new version so there's there's you got Firestone Goodyear and Michelin uh, so Michelin, I think, are the standard ones that are available. Uh, just wide tyres, wide tyres and wheel weight, twin wheels and standard. Uh, so those are the standard Michelins. The Firestones are all the narrow ones. Uh, and then the Goodyears are some pretty big ones. Uh, you know, <laughs> there's, there's all. So we're going to go Michelin. I think we're just going to go... Uh, the standard ones. It's interesting, the, the standard and the wide, there's not a huge amount of difference between. So uh, I think we're going to just go with the standard uh, for this uh, and customise that. Uh, actually cost us nothing to do that, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. 
Which surprises me that it costs us nothing to do that. And it's good to say, actually, it's interesting that, the, the, that they were clean until I backed off. Right, so I'm going to get this back up to our plow and, uh, and we'll continue on. Okay, here we are back up at the field. And there's our plow. So let's get that hooked back up. Uh, and then we can uh, turn round and turn our plow. And there we are. Uh, we'll turn the plow and, uh, and we'll get turned as well. Get ourselves into the first furrow. Down it goes and away we go. So yeah, much, much uh, sort of more suitable setup now that we've got for this. And, uh, and we're using, once again, I'm using the compass, trying to keep myself as straight as possible, make this as easy on myself as I can. Uh, but it is, uh, you see, it's considering the, 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 the width that we've just been at, uh, and then looking at the width of this, uh, it's quite a difference. Now, to me, this is sticking out on the wrong side. I would expect, kind of expect it to stick out more on the side where, I don't know, I kind of feel like I've got the furrows in the wrong place again. I'm not sure I have, but that lines up with the back of the tractor there and that doesn't, so it's, yeah. But that, that to me, this, this back wheel here, this should be always be into the field as far as I'm concerned. So it makes no sense to me that that would be sitting in a furrow. So that's why I believe this is the right way around. That this is, this is the way around. I should be ploughing it. Uh, it is a lot of field to go. And this is not a, this is not a wide plough. Not by any, well, I mean, no plough in the game actually. Or in reality is that wide. Um, something like a ripper. Something like that would be absolutely perfect. I can see why in uh, on America, uh, you know, American farming and things like that, with such large fields, they will tend to use a ripper or, or something like that rather than a plow. I don't know of, as far as I know in American farming, I don't know of many farms that actually do use plows instead of the big disc arrows and things like that. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, my, my knowledge of American farming is admittedly a little bit on the uh, on the low side. Uh, but yeah, I don't I don't honestly know of uh, much like that. I have realised I've left my weight down at the shop, so I'll go and pick that up later. Uh, at the moment. This is, uh, this is doing the job rather nicely. And I seem to be in a roughly the right position for this. So, uh, yeah, we will, uh, I think we'll continue on with this. Keep going on this. It's going to take a little while, this job. This is, uh, this is a much slower job than the last one. Uh, and, uh, and, yeah, I'll, have to, I'll pick up with you guys a little bit later. Okay, so I've, uh, looking at the time that this is going to take, uh, and the speed we're going at, what I've decided uh, is we're going to go and put this down, and we're going to head down to the shop, because I have a better idea. What we're going to do is, uh, is we are, we're going to go and get a subsoiler. So I was wrong with the, I was wrong with the disc. Uh, the disc arrow is basically a cultivator, uh, and therefore is of little to no use to us. What I've decided is that we're going to rent another piece of kit, which is uh, which is much more useful. So uh, I will see you down at the shop, and uh, and I'll show you what it is we're going to go and pick up. Okay, so once again we're down at the shop, and I kind of wish I'd twigged this the last time we were down here, uh, when we came to get our, uh, when we came to change the wheels over. Uh, I'm gonna pop 
into the shop and uh, and show you the piece of kit we're gonna get so let's jump out that's the cars going across and pop into the shop here and what we want is a subsoiler basically we're not looking to make fields so we're on a subsoiler first thing i'm going to do is show, is show the garage so we've got 396 horsepower uh, on a fairly flat uh fairly flat land so uh if we go back and we have a look at the subsoilers what we can get is this agri sem so this agri sem culti plow wow actually uh takes 420 horsepower so it's slightly higher power requirement than our tractor is but that should be okay uh it should run it we're gonna lease this for 4182 because we don't have enough so we'll lease that yep okay and back now what i might do quickly is look with the 30,000 we've got see how much an engine upgrade for our tractor will be uh, because if we can get that extra little bit uh, then that would be good so we'll drop off our weight back this up like so and have a look at how much that would be so customize this so to take our engine set up up to 435 would be 18,000. And that is the 1042. So we're going to do that as well. We're going to up this uh, properly, properly going big. So we put a new engine in it. We've gone up to 1042. Uh, we're down to 12,000. Uh, which is fine. Uh, and uh, so we'll hook our weight back up. We will hook our uh, we'll hook our new subsoiler up. There we go. And so this tractor now absolutely has the horsepower to deal with this. And uh, and we should get this job done quicker because this is twice as wide as our plough is. Okay, back up at our field. Let's uh, let's fold this uh, this subsoiler out. Get this lined up here. Okay, and uh, drop it down. All right, easily have enough horsepower in our tractor now. Fantastic. Uh, going at six miles an hour, which is absolutely fine. And uh, and yeah, so I think I think we're going at a reasonable pace. Uh, and it's doing it's doing the job. It's both plowing and cultivating. Uh, if we uh, so we'll just stop here, jump out, and uh, and you can see here. Uh, that this is uh, owned by us. It's got no weeds. Uh, it's not fertilised. And uh, yeah, edge there needs ploughing. Here it doesn't. So that's perfect. This this tool absolutely does the job we need it to. So uh, we'll continue on with this and uh, and get further through the field. I think. So at this point, we're about halfway through the field. Um, this is by far the longest um, bit of this job. Uh, the longest bit of what we're trying to do at the moment. Uh, I'm actually really, really pleased with this subsoiler. Uh, with this culti plough. Um, it is actually it is a culti plough. I can see on the, on the, on the frame there. Um, works absolutely brilliant is is really doing well uh, is twice the width of our plow uh, so this would have taken twice as long doing this with the with the plow we've got um, and uh, and it's doing the job nicely so, and and with us doing sunflowers every other 
uh, crop. This is something we need. This is a piece of equipment we need. Uh, one thing we are coming across, one problem I am having, um, is that really I'd like to have uh, this going on a hired worker at this point, sort of halfway through the field. Perfect time to put this on a hired worker and, uh, and get them doing this job while we start the seeding. But, of course, the issue we have uh, is that we only have one tractor. So we either hire a tractor, uh, which would probably be a... Uh, well, considering we're going big, that would be out of our price range. Or uh, we, we just can't do it. And so that's, that's the situation we're in at the moment. So what would really help, what would really get us going, is buying a new tractor. The trouble with that is... The buying a tractor with what we're doing on this map will require us to uh, us. It requires about the same amount of money as uh, land, as as to buy another field, uh, and, and a decent sized one at that. You know, you, we're talking about the three hundred thousand, um, uh, three hundred thousand dollar mark at the very least. Although we're showing euros at the moment, but. Uh, yeah, three hundred dollar uh, mark at least, or three hundred thousand dollar mark at least. So uh, there is that. There's there's no means by which uh, we can currently uh, solve this issue. Uh, so my question actually is, uh, I I can do lots of missions and we can try and build up to this, but should we add in another uh, tractor? Should I add in some money and get another tractor on here? Uh, let us know. I will put up a vote on this. Uh, and uh, and we'll see where we go from there. See if that eases up our, our thing. Because uh, we are going big. And the, the aim of this was to see how far we could get. Uh, just on a uh, on a standard game setup. Uh, going big. And we can. We, you know, we've shown that we actually have a stable farm now. But I'm, I'm concerned that things aren't moving along. Probably as fast as we would like. So, uh, yeah. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, hit that uh, hit that vote that came up. And uh, and I'm interested to see what you think. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep on cracking on with this. We'll get this field finished. And then hopefully, we'll be able to get our nice wide cedar and uh, and get our soybeans in. The weeds are, <laughs> the weeds are once again progressing across the field. So, uh, yeah. But they'll all go once we're... Uh, once we're uh, planting and uh, yeah let's let's get this culture let's get this this culture plow finished and we will go from there so we're on what appears to be our last row uh, you can see out the back there we've come up against our original plow furrows uh, but we did not finish uh, this row, uh, as you can see here. So we're going to have a little bit uh, of overlap to do on the last bit. Sort of half half the width of our culti plough here. Uh, but, uh, but for all intents and purposes, we've just about finished the field. There's a little patch there I've missed that I think I'm going to have to go and clean up. But otherwise, uh, this has performed really well. It's still taken an absolute age to do it. Um, it's uh, it's a big field, and uh, and even this, even this is only about eight meters, I think, wide. So it's still a massive job uh, to do with this, uh, which does bring up the uh, possibility of do I need to do I need to be doing the uh, do I need to be doing sunflowers? Are the sunflowers actually worth the amount of money it costs us uh, compared to the soybeans? Uh, so there is that to look into. Uh, but in general, I'm uh, I'm quite pleased. It's uh, it's working well. Uh, we do have this now, so of course the answer to my my query there is is absolutely yes. Uh, we might as well do it. We just need to get this going with a a good hired worker, uh, probably behind us when we're doing the uh, when we're actually doing the sunflowers. So get get a hired worker working on the uh, field behind us. Uh, but it's uh, it's it's worked well. I'm happy with it. Uh, the result of this is, and as you guys who have stuck through this video will probably realise, uh, we do not have time this time to do the sewing. Uh, 
so what we're going to do is we're going to get the sewing done next time. Uh, this time we're just going to finish up here, get this uh, last little bit done. Uh, and on my way back, actually, we'll just go and grab that patch there. But the field is ready. The field is now ready for us to plant the soybeans. Uh, so that is what we will be doing next time. We'll probably try and take on a mission. Oh, sorry, a contract next time as well. Uh, see if we can get something harvested. There's a massive wheat field over there that is worth a lot of money. Uh, so we might try and take that contract on if we can. But in general, it's all pretty good. It's all uh, it's all going well. So uh, let's fold up our piece of kit here. Because we are done for this episode, pretty much. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.